In this lecture, we are going to look at African traditional religion and African Christian theology, part one. By the end of this presentation, you should be able to clearly state how African religion has shaped the life of African people. Two, identify some of the life-threatening issues in Africa that are as a result of the lack of a model that makes Christianity and African religion compatible. And then three, suggest a model that makes Christianity and African religion compatible. Africans say that although African religion has shaped the life of the majority of Africans, it has at the same time been misrepresented. This is due to the attitude toward other religions which advocates Christ against other religions theory. The Christ against other religions theory has gone several phases in Africa, namely the Eurocentric expansion and Euro ecclesiastical expansion. This was the first phase when the missionaries were set on a vigorous crusade against African religion. The great task before the 19th century missionaries to Africa was the overthrow of African religion. It was in the 20th century that some people began to express some appreciation of African religious experiences. The second phase began in the 1960s with a new version of Christ against other religion theory. Christ is saving experience and presence was now seen in terms of development. Some people looked at technology and progress as unique Christian achievements that were destined to save non-Christian Africans from their superstitious traditions. Many Africans are of the view that for quite long, the gospel has not been able to meet Africans in and through their religious point of views. They go on to argue that in order to fulfill this agenda, African Christian theology needs to be, number one, in a serious dialogue with the African religion, and then two, be ready to learn from African religion. It is this readiness to learn from African religion that will enable Christianity to become relevant to the Africans. The idea of coming to terms with African religion seems to be new to African Christian theology. This is because for many years, Christians in Africa have taken literally the New Testament teaching that there is no other name under heaven given to them by which they must be saved other than Jesus Christ. For a lot of African Christians, Christianity and African religion are opposed to each other. Their argument is that while Christianity is from above, African religion is from below. There are people who have taken the primacy of Christianity for granted. The result has been the popularity of a fundamentalist viewpoint according to which every statement in Christianity is backed up by God's own authority. Such a people have always said yes to Christianity and no to African religion. The reality is that although most of the Africans are Christians, the majority of them are never detached from their African religion. The reason is that they consider their African religion to be the foundation of their way of life as well as the foundation of their collective identity. African Christians are of the view that the pre-Christian God is the same God who is the Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This means 
that African Christians need to develop a model that makes Christianity and African religion compatible. If African Christian theology is to be meaningful, it must speak to and through African religion.